I wish I had started my transition plans earlier. Now, this brings me back to a few years ago, playing golf and playing golf with a couple of physicians. And one of them asked me what I did. I said, help people with you know, retirement planning. And he said, what do you mean? Like, so you work with young people? Like, no, most of the people come to visit with us when they're getting ready to make that transition to retirement. They're typically six, 12 months from retirement when they come in to visit with us. And he said, well, isn't that too late? Mm -hmm. They're not starting to plan for the retirement until six, 12 months from actually coming in and having the conversation with you. And you know, it's kind of two, there's a couple of different yeah, things going on. It's not that they weren't there, right? planning, right? They were saving. People Quite were, often yeah. they were just saving, they're mm -hmm. accumulating, they're trying to get to a point where they can actually feel that they have enough money where they go, yep, I'm ready to transition. They go from an accumulation advisor or their 401k specialist, and then they walk in and they meet with a retirement specialist, recognizing that there's more to this side of the game, right? Mm -hmm. I've been really good at just putting money away, putting my 10%, my 20% into Getting my 401k, DCA and in, pretty simple stuff. But now I have more to think about. I need to turn this into an income I can't outlive. How am I going to handle emergencies when I no longer have the ability to slap it on a credit card, put it in overtime on the weekend? You know, how am I going to battle inflation Required over a 30, 40 year retirement? What's an RMD? Yeah. How am I going to ha handle rising taxes? What about my estate plan and long-term care? and Medicare, there become a lot more questions that need to be answered. And I, I, I think that what we really see is people saying, I wish I had started my transition plans earlier for some of those fine tuning opportunities that really happen in the first five, 10 years, even prior to stepping into retirement, for instance, tax bucket planning. You know, what we often see is individuals coming in and the majority of their wealth is tied yes. up in a tax deferred mm -hmm. 401k or an IRA. Never paid taxes on it before. Right. It felt really good to kick the can down the road. It's like you're running your retirement plan like the government handles its budget, right? We're just going to kick this can down the road. We'll feel, we'll, we'll feel the pain somewhere. It's almost like they knew that you were feeling the same way because now they're going to force you to take those distributions and give good big old chunks of that 401k and IRA to the IRS. And it, you don't necessarily recognize some of the other issues that come along with that. You say, yes, I'm in a higher tax bracket today. Maybe I'll be in a lower tax bracket tomorrow. Maybe you won't, maybe you will, but you still have to consider social security taxes. Every distribution can increase the amount of money that you're paying in taxes right. on your social security benefit. You could be paying dramatically more, two, three times uh, Medicare premiums that your neighbor is paying because maybe they did a good job doing their tax planning. We believe in taking a diversified tax tax strategy where you're stepping into retirement and it's not all in the 1099 bucket. It's not all in the tax-free bucket, which would be nice, but it's probably unlikely. Yeah. It's not all in the tax-deferred bucket for that matter, right? We want to see some diversification there because you could get it wrong and we want flexibility. That's one of the most important elements of a plan is creating flexibility. And if you don't start that transition plan earlier, you may miss out on a lot of opportunities for flexibility when you step into retirement. And it may just, it may cost you, it may actually cost you.